starting the video all all bent down what a great way to start a main channel video um today i thought it'd be really fun to do a little wardrobe tour of baby pentland's uh setup which is behind me um it's obviously going to change over the coming months i've still got four months left to go I'm still gonna buy bits i'm fairly sure friends and family will buy bits as well but we already have quite the stash so i thought it might be quite interesting for you but also for me to look back on to see how i've tried to organize things how i'm getting on with it um i will just say everything has tags on and nothing has been washed yet but i am obviously going to wash everything so essentially <laughs> I have wasted a lot of my time spending all this time organising it. I should have washed it first, but there we are. I was over eager. Let's just get on with the little tour. I'm going to take you off the tripod um, and you'll be handheld. You'll feel free like a bird. So in case you are new to my channel, this is my wardrobe setup. I'm incredibly lucky because I have basically a whole room for, excuse the light, for stuff like this. Um, hello, here I am. Um, and then over here, where the light is, is going to be where Baby's going to stay for her first little time. Um, this is all my stuff, and some of this oh, on this side is my partner stuff, not this, but it's got a section over here. Um, but I have dedicated this entire section to Baby Girl, um, and I'll go through it bit by bit. Starting at the top, we have hats of mine that need to go somewhere else, probably up here when I put this in the attic. Um, and here, Obviously this won't live here forever, but I just wanted to put something there. Whoa, is my change bag. I'll link below a full tour I've done of that if you'd be interested to see that. And then we move down onto the actual wardrobe bit. If you would like to see like a really in detailed, like inventory of what we have, I'd be happy to do that. But for now I'll just whip through. These two things here are actually my other daughter, Darcy's bits and pieces. Oh, little bump shot for you there, bits and pieces. This was given to her when she was a baby and I just think it's so cute that I just sort of keep it out for ornamental value. And this is from the My K range, Mylin Class from Mother Care. And I've bought it for Darcy for next year and you will see why it is kept in this wardrobe shortly. Um, I wanted to have a place for all her little things because I remember with Darcy, these are the things that kind of just got lost. I had a chest of drawers. Um, but I just mainly lost them. So I went on Amazon and I bought a shoe holder, a shoe rack, a hanging shoe storage thing. I'll link one below for you if you're interested. And then in it, I've put things like her little tiny hats. You might remember this. This was what I did my announcement with. Um, hats, tights, whoops, I'll grab that in a minute. Can we just all agree that this is the cutest hat you've ever seen in probably your entire life? Yes, yes it is. Um, Socks, boot socks here, booties, headbands, um, little like dribble chew bibs, that kind of thing. Um, it's probably not the most practical because it does swing around a lot, but for now it's really handy because I can see what I've got. I also really like these. Um, Liam bought these for me. These are my special um, in labour socks um, and they say, baby you're worth it on the bottom. So I'll wear these whilst I'm pushing if I don't get my water there. This little dressing gown was gifted to us from my first years and it says Baby Pentland um, on it, which is what we're calling her for now. She has got a name. I don't know if I'm gonna do a name reveal or if I'm gonna wait till she's born. What would you like? I'm not that fussed about telling you. I'm just not sure what to do on that really. Um, all these little hangers, these little pink ones, I bought from Amazon and I'll link them below for you. Darcy has the same ones. They're so handy because they have this um, like felty, it's not focusing at all, felty texture. I actually have like adult ones of these in blue with a rose gold handle and I love them so much more than my plastic hangers. It is an extra expense, but um, I, I want everything to match. So I bought those. Um, at the moment, I'm hanging blankets on a hanger. I think this is probably, oh look, don't match um this is probably a little bit optimistic because i recognize that once baby's here i'm not going to give a shit about keeping this as perfect as it is right now um things will go to pot and i'm going to try and keep it like this but i'm not going to beat myself up if it doesn't quite work out like that my all-time favorite 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 blanket 
is this like muslin duvet one from Age and Ace. It's pink and it has these gorgeous gold stars. Freaking love it. And then also up here we have um, a little snoozy grow bag. This is probably one that she can use um, earlier on because it's a bit thicker and she's going to be born in winter. And then also, I bought that in mother care and then Maury sent us this one which actually grows with the child which is handy because you can like pop it up there. So that is the top rail and we'll move you down to the bottom one. Okay, this is my favourite section of the whole wardrobe because these are all the things that I've bought for her for you in here. These are all for you. Um, one of the best things I bought are these. I bought these on Amazon and again, I'll link them. I'm sure you can get them other places than Amazon. It's just that that's where I've been picking things up from because it just gets delivered to you. And essentially they're just little dividers. So this one says newborn. Um, this says a not to three months. And then we have six, three to six, um, six to nine, um, nine to 12, 18, 12 to 18, and then 18 to 24. So, and I'm sure you can get them for older sizes as well. And also they came in different patterns, but I just bought these because I thought they were the least offensive of them. So, in the 0 to 3 months category, we have this that Liam bought, bless him, and he didn't factor in that it's going to be winter. Um, so she has this very summery item, which I'm not sure what we'll do with. Um, this, I won't show you everything, it's just everything's so freaking cute, little cosy warmer thing that if we have her hospital we can bring her home in that um, a little Maury thing um, a little Cardi um, I'll go through and just pick out some of my favourite bits um, I do love baby suits basically just going to keep her in baby suits as long as possible again I've tried to use as many of the pink hangers that I bought let me zoom you in a little bit there we go I've tried to use as many as the pink hangers um, some stuff is on like the shop hanger still. Do you remember the black thing I showed you earlier? That's Darcy's and this is this baby's and I, I'm keeping them both together because I want them to kind of match but not match. So I thought they were both quite sweet. Um, you might recognize this. This is what I showed to Zoe to tell I was having a baby girl. Um, I picked this up in the Gap sale, I think it was. Yeah, I just thought that was so freaking sweet. Um, I've rather optimistically bought her a swimming costume. I think I'm going to take her swimming. All the little bits that you've seen, you've seen most of these. Then we move on to six to nine. Um, where's the little jewels thing that I like freaking love? Oh, it's in nine to 12. I am obsessed with this pattern. I have tons of stuff for Darcy in this pattern too. And like this little outfit. Oh, I love it all so much. Um, and she's got stuff all the way up to two years because basically when I see something, I buy it because if it's in the sale, then you may as well stock up. Moving down, 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 down. Um, essentially, I'm just storing things here for now. We've got a few bits that we were gifted in the PO box. Um, some bedding for the snooze pod that I need to set up. And now we'll move on to the drawers. So I'll move this just completely out of the way for now. Above the drawers, I've got a few bits. This isn't how I'm going to keep it, but this is how it is for now. This bag is full of all the lotions and potions. Um, I've been sent my peer box for like baby or maternity. And I need to go through this and decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm giving to my stepmom. Um, oh, she's not pregnant before anyone's like, what? Um, she works with a charity with vulnerable women in Northamptonshire. So um, a lot of stuff, if I've got excess, just goes to her and she just passes that on to people that need it. Um, these bits need a home, I was just sorting through these today. These are the bits that Liam and I bought in New York in May when we found out I was pregnant. Um, it's not easy being cool, but I manage. And the snuggle is real, so they're quite special because they're the first bits that we bought. Um, some more Aiden and Anae stuff, my god I love this company. And this was given to me at my book signing. Um, and I thought they were quite unusual. I've seen the ones that everyone else has, but I thought these were quite fun. They're like the markers that you do for baby. So, these four drawers did used to have my like knickers and socks and stuff, and now I have found somewhere else to put those. They go there. And if we open this drawer, oh, it's so freaking cute. Um, what I did was all the naught to three stuff I put, I folded up, and hopefully, Every three months, <laughs> I say this, will I do this with a newborn? Probably not. 
I'll go through and change out. I don't need to have everything in here. So this drawer is just for long sleeve vests and short sleeve vests. So this is the short sleeve side. <laughs> They're so cute and tiny. And this is the long sleeve side. Um, and then also I have a few little pairs of leggings here. For, you know, when she's feeling a bit sporty, when she's going to get her workout on. Yeah. And then the drawer down is sleep suits. This one my friend Esther bought for us. Look at it. It's got sparkly bits on. Just a sprinkle of glitter. I'll have to refold that. Um, most of these are from like Primark or supermarkets. I think that's from Next. Um, and again, they're just all long sleeved, long bottom footsie sleep suits, which I'm basically just going to keep her in for the first three months. Um, and then this one is muslins. I freaking love them. These are the Aiden and Ace ones. Um, I'll also be stocking up on just general like supermarkety ones, but these are like the special ones. And again, everything does need washing. Don't worry, I won't not wash things. This drawer down here has some of my stuff in, which I need to take out and put something else in there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but so far, that is where we are with it. I hope you enjoyed that little insight into how her wardrobe's coming along. I'm really, really enjoying doing it, and I'm much preferring having everything hung than having a chest of drawers, which is what I had last time at Darcy, we just didn't have the space. So I had this like huge Hemnes Ikea set of drawers, but I like that because I can see what I've got. I'm gonna try and keep it organized. I think in reality, every mum in the world is like, yeah, good luck to you, Louise, but I'll see how I go. Um, closer to the time when I'm closer to my due date, I'll show you it like fully, fully stocked. I've gone overboard. It was about a month ago that I organized that and I was like, uh oh, I've gone too far, but I can't help it, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see any more tour style videos, if you want to see one of Darcy's wardrobe, her wardrobe is massive. She has like a bit of a setup like this in her room. So if you want to see essentially Darcy's walk-in wardrobe and how it's all organized, let me know because I'd like to do that. I probably will actually. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all your support on Wednesday's video. It's really meant a lot, especially to hear from other pregnant women who are feeling the same way. That really like soothed my soul. And I will see you on Sunday on Sprinkle of Chatter for the weekly vlog or next week over here for another main channel vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.